So a couple weeks back, I posted a tutorial showcasing how I pl use and play games on Battle.net on Linux. At the end of that video, I posed a question. Uh, if anyone would be interested in seeing a video about how I manage my add-ons on Linux. Uh, and I did get a little bit of response. Moisey style, this one's for you. In today's video, we're going to be covering how I use CurseForge's native Linux app to manage my World of Warcraft add-ons. Let's go. So, our World of Warcraft add-on managing journey is going to start at this site. The link, as always, will be available in the description down below. ChrisForge.com slash download slash app. We're just going to go ahead and grab the download standalone for Linux. Now, if you're not seeing a Linux option for whatever reason, you can always scroll down and all the download options are available for you here. Just going to go ahead and stick this in our downloads folder. <laughs> if you guys would like to see a video on uh, how to get the AI voice mod Voices of Vardenfell working in OpenMW, let me know. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to save this here in our downloads. So once you've gone ahead and downloaded uh, the latest build from CurseForge, we're going to be presented with this zip file. CurseForge latest Linux zip. All we're going to do is right click, come down to extract, extract here. And then inside this build folder, we'll be, we'll be presented with a app image of the CurseForge app. I'm going to right click this, come to properties, and as always, make sure that is executable is selected. And so now, with all that out of the way, we can go ahead and launch our app. Now, this is not my first time using this app, but you likely have just been greeted with a uh, startup screen asking you to point CurseForge to the installation location of your game. So let's run through that now. We're going to come here, manually add a game. If you followed my tutorial, uh, the most recent one about installing battle.net, it will be located in a hidden folder. So we'll have to right click and go show hidden files. Then we're going to come to dot local share bottles bottles <laughs> uh, the name of the bottle we installed battle.net in drive c program files x86 and then world of warcraft and then here we can see uh, all the different versions of wow that you might have installed and these all you can manage add-ons for them separately so let's say i wanted to play uh, classic era so I would select the classic arrow folder and then click open. And if you didn't follow my most recent tutorial and maybe use Lutris to install battle.net, that will be located under games, battle.net, drive C, program files x86, world of Warcraft. And the same as before, we have a folder for each version of the game we have installed. So now that we've added our game instance, let me just quickly demo how we manage our add-ons in the CurseForge app. So we can come here either to feature to see some of the most popular or new released apps or add-ons rather. We can come and browse a list. I think these are sorted by download. Or if we know the name of our app, we can search. So let's say for the sake of argument, I wanted to add the Rested XP add-on. Just go ahead and search for it up here and click install it's as simple as that so once we've gone ahead and added all the add-ons we could ever want we just close the CurseForge app come into battle.net and launch the game as usual so here we are in game and as we can see the rested xp add-on has added successfully uh, along with all of my other add-ons that I updated earlier. Uh, thanks so much for watching. See you guys in the next one.